Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Okay, now I am still kind of set up here the way I was at the end of yesterday's episode, the last episode. And uh, I noticed that uh, only about half the people seem to be watching the, the uh, extra. Uh, and I, I don't blame you because there's very little to do with the ship. Uh, and yet it sort of does because the the sprue that is in this pen that we're making is from the model ships. So it, it's kind of all ties together. At, at least I think it does. Maybe, maybe there's people in uh, Jim Steen's uh, uh, 1-200 scale model ship club that uh, might feel differently. And, may, and maybe I should address that right now. If there's anybody that, that sort of feels that, uh, oh, there goes the school bus again. Uh, okay. As I said before, it doesn't take much to distract me, does it? So anyway, if there's anybody in, in, in Jim's uh, club there that sort of thinks, Hey Ron, th this has nothing to do with 1-200 scale model ships. Uh, well, let, let me know your feelings. I, I kind of sort of feel that it does because all of this sprue that's, that's in here is from 1-200 scale ships. Four of them now. Anyway, uh, okay, enough about that. Now, I got a lot of comments, people telling me to the effect of, you were almost there, and then you gave up. <laughs> okay, uh, got a comment from uh, Military Modeler Paul. And he says, why don't you anneal that? And I thought, yeah. And then I started thinking about it. If I was to take, where's the... Where's, uh, Tony's tweezers here. Very carefully here. I don't want to don't want to bend this. Now, now if I was to take this thing and and anneal it and and then maybe let gravity be my friend instead of trying to mount it. Now let me put it back before I bend it. Okay. Now, instead of trying to mount it when it's horizontal like it's supposed to be, how would it be if I was to have it like this and just sort of sort of let the the part after it's annealed hang over there, uh, I might be able to position it a little bit better and and also if I anneal it it's going to burn off the the uh, CA that's that's on there so it's probably going to stick better and maybe I could do a little bit of scraping on the tops of these little little uh, gussets or whatever they are uh, you know, and get them pristine again, because I, I do realize that that uh, uh, CA glue w doesn't stick well to itself. So pretty well everywhere is saturated with CA glue down there. So I got to kind of get bare plastic again, again, and bare and bare metal. And when the parts come together, and it is true, I, I had it. You could actually see it. With, with the macro lens. Now, now I couldn't see it. We're, we're, I was using these things and I still couldn't see it as anywhere near as clear as you guys were watching it, okay? Please understand that. Um, so, uh, yeah, you see it afterwards. Yeah, you almost had it and you gave up and you got in too much of a hurry. You wanted to, you didn't wait for the CA to completely cure and have a little bit of strength going on. Anyway, I, I probably will go at it. I don't think I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to video it or not. Um, I guess we'll just sort of have to see uh, how it goes. I, one thing I do know is i got to clean up the mess I've got going on here before I do anything else. I don't think there is any other aspect of this build I can do yet. Oh yeah, there is. I, I, I could move on here in, in step, uh, what is it, 34? Yeah, 34. And uh, see, I, I, I couldn't remember acetone, but I remembered 34. There's hope. Anyway, uh, uh, or, or maybe you didn't watch that episode. I don't know. I think I think I talked about that in the last episode. and Some people didn't watch it. So uh, Anyway, I think that we probably could move on to the end of 34 and still cap that uh, funnel thing on afterwards. And, and also about the painting, it, it might be a lot easier to paint the black before I glue it on. Um, I just hate to have to set up to spray just for that one thing, but hey, 
you know, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter what I do. You know, when I, when I go to bed, the main thing is I've had a good, interesting time. <laughs> and I'm, I'm enjoying myself here. So uh, I'm not discouraged because I had trouble with that, uh, uh, with that railing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted with, with Trumpeter for not doing a better design. Or maybe making that catwalk out of a piece of plastic. And then you'd have something to glue it to. Okay, have I rambled on now? I, what time is it here? Is it still morning? <laughs> oh, speaking of sunrises, we <laughs> we did have a sunrise this morning, but not not the usual kind. It was the kind that if you do it in time lapse, it might look good. I haven't seen the walkers yet. They 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 should have come by about half an hour ago. Uh, so we'll do that all at the end of today's episode. If it's if it looks nice and it's and it's interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll time lapse it and we'll stick it at the day, the end of today's episode. Did I say we'll stick it at the end of today's episode enough? Okay, let's 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 move on here. Now I have been meaning to get myself a proper butane Bunsen burner type thing, but you know I got a package of five of these things, and I'm still on this one, which is the one I found ten years ago, and I haven't even. Oh, I gave one of my five away, so I've only got four left. But it's it's a shame to spend any money on a Bunsen, proper Bunsen burner. The problem is with this is that when you're holding it, eventually, even if you hold it at a bit of an angle so that the flame is coming up like this, the uh, the uh, it gets hot. So uh, anyway, here we, here we go. I wonder if I should maybe use, uh, being as I'm going to be, I, I was kind of concerned about the tweezer acting like a heat sink, but I was going to do it at two stages anyway. You know, hold on to it, say, say right here, and then, and then start here and work my way around, and then reposition the tweezer. So I'm wondering if I might have better luck if I use a uh, self-locking tweezer. Um, just let me uh, recompose here. Okay, now I don't need to worry about accidentally dropping it. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to go most of the way around and then reposition the tweezer. Oh! Now, if I was a superstitious type of person, I would say, do you know what? This means I'm not meant to do this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I guess it sort of solves my problem, doesn't it? I don't think there's any way I can straighten that out. Now, in the last episode, and I'm talking about the 8K special, I mentioned why it was that I decided not to go run my errands, as I'd originally mentioned. And, uh, yeah, and it went fine. Uh, I didn't run over anybody, and I managed to keep the car between the ditches. And I guess that's the main thing, right? Okay, as near as I can tell, we can put it on all the rest of the pieces on 34. And it's not going to interfere with the fact that this is going to be loose. And we're going to be wanting to paint all around these little four little pipes that you see coming up, all the inside of here and the inside of the of the uh, of the funnel, uh, some kind of flat black. Probably I'll probably use the off black. I don't think I'll use the the uh, pure black. Uh, probably something like the NATO black would look look okay. Anyway, I, I think we can probably just put this in a safe place, wherever that might be. Um, now, as for th this piece of railing here, okay, we, we, can, we can still probably uh, put that on. You know, that, that should be fairly easy. That means it won't be. But as for this piece here, well, I, I guess that's just sort of a souvenir now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. Now, I thought we had all the pieces that we need, but I'm just realizing now we're missing a piece, E11, and it goes right in here. 
Okay, here we are. E11. Get that cleaned up and I'm sure it's going to look just fine. Now, just in case somebody's worried that maybe I've got this squeezed too hard by the clamp, this is nice and loose. It's just, just sitting in there just to keep it from flopping over while I'm working on it. And um, I was thinking when I was cleaning this up how, how easy it would have been for Trumpeter to have made something like this for the catwalk where we were having so much trouble. Uh, that fits in there really nice. That's that's almost a perfect fit. I'm just going to sort of eyeball it here. Um, okay, what what kind of glue should I use? Maybe I'll use the extra thin. I won't use the quick setting though. Um, no, about this morning sunrise, I I did uh, squeeze about a little over two hours of it into just a little over two minutes. So uh, and it's it's different. It's it's not spectacular, but it's I think it's nice. Anyway, it'll be at the uh, end of today's episode. Now, where's my glue? Okay. Now just let me move around here. I want to make sure that I've got that. I've got that straight. Should it go maybe just a little bit more like this? Or did I make it worse? I don't think so. Okay, this this should just sort of wick down the side. Let me just turn this a little bit so that you can see what's going to happen there. I just let it run down. That's probably all we're going to need. We'll do the same on the other side. Now the other side is the underneath, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, we'll just let that uh, do its melding thing and uh, I think it's going to be just fine. Does it look straight? Let me look straight down on it. Yeah, it's okay. No, not really. It's... I think that's better. Okay, now don't touch it anymore. Okay, H15. Uh, I guess I guess actually 14 is the first one we come to if we're coming from left to right. So we'll, we'll do the uh, the 14. Where is it here? It's 14, and we'll try and orientate it according to the instructions here. And it has to go up underneath right here. So. Let's just remember we're working on this one now. And it's going to have to go, let's see here. I, I think that what's supposed to happen is that these little protrusions that are coming out are supposed to rest on those gussets. Now we might want to be able to, or we might want not be able to, but it might be a good idea to make it so that this whole part is going to be angled like that, so we can once again let gravity be our friend. I'm going to just see if I can rig up the helping hands here to carefully grab onto this somewhere. Okay, here we go. This is actually the first time. Yeah, I, I can see where that, how that's supposed to go now. You can see that they, everything sort of lines up when you put that in there. Look at that, it, it, it almost wants to sit there all by itself, which is uh, really surprising. I thought I was going to have a problem. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some extra thin and, and weld it on where it comes up against the funnel. Let me check the no, it's, it's not quite right. These 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 uh, longer legs don't seem to be touching the gusset. Um, maybe I should be slipping on the macro lens. Okay, good old macro lens here. Let's see if I can just bring this down just a little bit here so that those longer pegs 
touch. No. Okay. Grab onto it here. Let's try this again. Go very, very easy. That's pretty well right, except that it, it wants to fall off. I can see that this is going to be a frustrating experience here, at least the way I'm going at it. Maybe what I should be doing, let me, I'm trying to grab it here. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm wondering if maybe I should, the, the part that goes up against the side of the funnel, I'm wondering if maybe I should sort of make it sticky with some with some uh, extra thin, and then it'll just sort of stay there, and it won't fall away. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. But uh, being as my neighbor, who has just come back from Mazatlan, wants to go back to the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday coffee breaks in the afternoon. Well, today is Friday, and I don't have that much more time here. Okay, I think that's the one I'm going to do, but it's going to have to be in the in the, in the next episode. Because um, it just won't quite stay there by itself. It, it almost does. But like I say, I think if I was to make the, the, the edge here, this edge right here, sticky, then, then it would stay there. But, but we're going to do that in the next episode. And uh, remember to uh, watch the sunrise if you want. And we might be working on this group pen in the uh, next 8K Extra this evening. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>